In recent news, Toronto's favorite Drake is expanding his luxury real estate portfolio by many multi-millions, this time in Los Angeles. Located in the upscale Beverly Crest neighborhood, the rapper is purchasing the 20-acre mega mansion off of British musician Robbie Williams in an off-market deal for over $70 million. Of course, Drake spends most of his time at his custom Toronto estate, but now he'll have yet another stunning option. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Drake is best known for being a rapper and singer who is arguably Toronto's favorite son. The Canadian superstar has a net worth expected to exceed $180 million by the end of 2022, making him one of the world's wealthiest rappers. And that fortune, well, Drake also knows how to spend it. Word is that the OVO star has treated himself to a new mega mansion in the Beverly Crest area of LA and an off-market deal expected to close north of $70 million. It makes sense because the former owner of the estate, Robbie Williams, was first trying to sell the place for around $80 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one about Drake's brand new mansion in LA. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Let's take a look at the place Drake is picking up. Well, for the last year, the rapper has been scouring the California real estate market for a new home, and this time, it seems he's found what he was looking for. Drake is snagging the Beverly Crest mansion of English singer-songwriter Robbie Williams in an off-market deal. And while details are slim, sources say the mansion should close for over $70 million, likely in the mid-70 million range. The massive price tag is due to the prized property's rare combination of size and scale, which is super special in the Beverly Hills Post Office neighborhood. Overlooking Los Angeles Beverly Hills Post Office is a neighborhood that values seclusion and an upscale suburban lifestyle. Residents of the area are the recipients of the world's most coveted zip code 90210, with gated sections including Benedict Canyon where Drake's new mansion is located, as well as Mulholland Estates and Coldwater Canyon. The affluent area boasts spectacular views of the ocean and the Santa Monica Mountains all around. Drake's new trophy estate boasts a whopping 20,000 square feet on more than 20 acres, not to mention there's no other home on the market in the 90210 zip code code with even close to that much land. Perched in Benedict Canyon, Drake's new mansion was built by LA architectural firm KAA Design Group and offers up a dramatic Tuscan style including pillars and stone along the ivy covered exteriors. Inside, there are multiple formal living spaces, including great rooms, family rooms, and more. Meanwhile, the bedroom count is at 10. If that's not enough, there are mind-blowing 22 bathrooms throughout, while Robbie Williams said the mansion actually had 27 toilets in total. Other lavish amenities include an 11-car garage, elevator, wine cellar, a home gym, and a games room. Outside on the grounds, Drake can enjoy a mosaic tiled pool, an outdoor kitchen, tennis court, and orchard, the perfect property for entertaining. There are also terraces and balconies all over, and in the past, Williams has shown the incredible outdoor area, which boasts views across the city. Looks like Drake has found a winner. The sale is the rapper's first property in the neighborhood. For the last decade, he was also compiling a compound in Hidden Hills in the San Fernando Valley, and of course, his pride and joy his 50,000 square foot mega mansion in Toronto. If you watch this channel, then I'm almost certain you've seen Drake's mansion in Toronto, Ontario. The rapper purchased the land for his main mansion back in 2016 for $6.7 million, getting the home custom designed and constructed from the ground up, which took years. These days, Drake's home is also known as the Embassy and is worth an estimated $100 million. It's located on two acres of land in the upscale Bridal Path community in Toronto. Not to mention, he installed super high fences surrounding the compound for ultimate privacy. No expense was spared in crafting the Drake dream home. The abode is made of limestone, bronze, exotic woods, and other top-notch materials, clocking in at a whopping 50,000 square feet of space. 
The entryway is decked out in black and white marble with soaring ceilings. And also on the main floor, there's a two level hallway, a party area, and a great room with 44 foot high ceilings and a fireplace. The kitchen boasts a clean white color palette with a large marble block island in the center as well as blue suede bar chairs to dine in and designer appliances, while the dining room is close by to easily flow from one room to the next. Drake's fave spot in the mansion is his 3,200 square foot master retreat that's located in its very own wing of the home. Here there's a large one ton bed and bedding and tapestries are all designer as you'd expect. Well, there's an extra 1,100 square feet of covered terraces here too. His spa style bathroom boasts a steam shower and hot tub, while the suite also encompasses two dressing rooms and a kitchenette. Other luxury rooms in Drake's palace include a cozy studio lounge, awards room, recording studio, and a jersey hall full of basketball memorabilia on display. Elsewhere, there's a home gym, a movie theater, a snack bar, and an elevator. Being the basketball ambassador and fan that he is, Drake has an NBA regulation sized basketball court inside his home, custom designed with his OVO brand logo. Downstairs is one of my favorite rooms, where the rapper hides his Olympic sized indoor swimming pool decked out in black granite, also boasting special lighting to set the mood seating around the pool and mirrored walls. Drake had to include two pools, building another one outside, which is also massive and perfect for the summer months. All right, now that we've gotten a taste of Drake's new Beverly Crest estate, what do you guys think? Has he secured a gem or overpaid? Well, either way, I cannot wait to see more of it. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Drake's homes down in that comment section. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.